Hello, my Virgos. This is Miss Kelly, the Lover's Lane Tarot. I would like to start off by saying thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming by the channel. Like, share, subscribe. All of those who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you decided to stop by. So, um, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the information in the description box below. Um, I would love to say thank you to all of those who like, share, subscribe, and who also hits the notification bell so you can be alerted when you have new readings that are posted for you. Um, things will be more consistent. I have a lot going on um, that I'm trying to accomplish, so I'm trying to keep things balanced and focused. Um, but I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been patient with me. Um, so let's get started with your read, my good Virgos. So I see that right now you are in your mode, hermit, solitude. You're deciding to take some time to do some introspection, um, silence. You're going deep within yourself to see what it is that you want, how you want to move forward. And is someone that you need to forgive or you're seeking forgiveness from someone in the month of August. Um, we have here ascending, um, evolution, staying connected to spirit, healing, and then there's an offer that's going to come in. So, but you're going to be hesitant to take this offer. Okay. So, let me find out my Virgo. There's someone getting proposed to. Someone getting a ring. Excuse me, gotta wet the whistle. <laughs> so, we have our witches, Everyday Witch Oracle deck. And so, here, look at you showing up again. Earth, ground and center again. Staying connected with your divine creator. That is what's going to keep you at peace during the month of August. And as far as dealing with your love life, um, you're not letting someone take you out of your square. You, um, I would say you definitely connecting with people on a level of, um, a level of just being centered in the sense of you know you're approaching people from a place of love and if people aren't approaching you from that same place i feel like you are not hesitating to cut certain people and certain things out so let's see what this grounding is about The world is full of distractions that pull us in a million different directions. Sometimes we just need to stop and ground, centering ourselves so that we can move move and stand strong and rooted no matter what we face. Grounding is good preparation for magical work, but it also helps us if we are facing any challenging situation or even just getting ready to leave the house and deal with daily life. Okay. So, um, have you been feeling scattered and frantic? This card is a reminder to ground and center yourself on a regular basis, not just doing magical work. Look at the witch on the card. Doesn't she look serene? I think they got this a little weird, I mean, a little twisted, because it's a he. Okay. <laughs> um, look serene. That kind of calm often feels out of reach, but grounding and centering can help us move in that direction. So you stay grounded and centered doing all of this, um, doing all of this introspection that you're doing is what's going to keep you um, at peace during the month of August. Um, you're not going to be letting too many things get in your way. Um, right now it's saying that you're displaying, um, traits of being a chaser in a relationship, codependency. Um, it's saying it's time for you to let them go and to let it be, you know, um, 
what's for you is going to always be for you. And maybe the timing isn't right. So you just, you don't know why something is not um, being granted to you. And then right now we're in the middle of an unexpected change. So you, you know, the unexpected change is going to be coming in the month of August. It's going to be new opportunities. Um, that's what they're saying. It's time for you to stay grounded so you can adapt to these changes without you feeling like you're coming off, you know, you're off kilter. You don't want to feel like you're in a panic, anxiety, and all that stuff. So, therefore, that's why Spirit is saying to go ahead and prepare yourself. Become more grounded and centered within yourself. And then, a lot of your belief systems with whoever you're in this connection with, it may be the challenge um, for your connection in the month of August. Um, belief systems can be, you know, some people believe in societal norms, some people don't. Some people live by their rules. They don't live by society's rules and traditions. So that's why I feel like the belief systems are there. Belief systems are going to be challenged um, during the month of August for you um, when it comes to love. And again, divine is saying just stay um, grounded and focused. Okay, look. Another confirmation time ago. So... Spirit is saying definitely, it's time to let the situation go. It's time for you to move on, move into a new direction, take a new path. There is a door that's there. You may not see it because it's not all the way clear. But this is about taking a leap of faith and you going on and discovering what's, what's out there that's new. What are these new opportunities that's for you? And they're saying you're going to do it by the book this time. Okay, you're going to take the lead and you're going to show and prove how it's supposed to be done. <clears throat> um, that you're not going to falter, you're not going to be persuaded or tempted by things that are no longer serving your purpose or serving you on the path that you're trying to go on. Okay, so community is going to play a part. And um, it's going to play a part in this situation, okay? Um, you reaching out to your friends and the time with friends and family, being surrounded by your friends and family, that's what's going to more likely get you through this transition. Okay, why well, it's time to go and buy the book here? Because it's not for you. Clear as day. You get no clearer than this. It's not for you. You have been, you're, you're, this situation has been rejected because you're being protected from something. There's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're being protected from. Why is by the book and community here? So that's why I say I feel like there's going to be some things. There's going to be a tower moment, which means it's going to, to make some, it's going to illuminate some things, make some things clear. And then that way, you're going to know why it didn't work out, okay? So why is by the book and community here? By the book and community. By the book and community, please. Thank you. Yin. So it's a feminine energy. So this feminine energy... This feminine energy sees someone as their soulmate, but what the divine is saying that this is not the situation for you. Um, this is not even saying it's bad timing because we do have um, a card in this deck that goes along with timing. This is not a bad. This is not about bad timing. This is just about this situation is not for your greatest good or for the greatest good of everyone involved, okay? Um, let's see why not for you as you in. So this feminine energy that it is that you want, this feminine energy is not for you. Why is not for you and you in here, please? Not for you and you in. This feminine that you see as a soulmate is not for you, Virgo. Why is not for you and Yin here, please? Clarify not for you and Yin. 
Thank you. Um. I'm not, I mean, I don't. I mean, not with these. Um, because these doesn't. These don't come on reversals. Um. A leg up. So it's saying that you need to, um, ask for help if you need it. Ask for some sort of guidance or clarity if you need it. Um, and this comes from family members, people in, again, your community. That's why I say it's going to be, a, this is a time where, um, your friends and family and your close loved ones are going to play a very pivotal role in you transforming to this next, um, this next level for these new opportunities to come in and love for um, August. And I'm sorry, girl, I don't like being a bearer of bad news, but yeah, the divine said this is not it. This is not for you. And you know, what sometimes our heart thinks we want may not be what's best for us. So we have to keep that in mind. So. <clears throat> Angels and guys, please join us in these messages that we are about to divulge into for the Virgo in love for August 2020. Let's see. What's your overall energy? Mm, okay, so interesting. I did a pre-shuffle. Matter of fact, this is like, for Virgo, this is like maybe like my third or fourth time doing you guys reading. So, every time. So, you are. You have made the decision that you're walking away. That this is a situation that you feel like that is not fulfilling. This is someone that you've known for a long time, though. So, I feel like that's why it's so much harder for you to release, um... To release these feelings and um, not wanting to feel like you have to give up on this connection or this person. Okay. Um, tell you one thing about tarot something that you thought or felt as though was your wish was not your wish okay or you're in the middle you're 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 healing after making an offer let's see i'm gonna go get a little bit more into this let me see one more card. Mm. Okay. Now, okay. So this came out at first in the reverse. That was that card that I picked up here. This came out first in the reverse. So you're walking away from someone because you... I feel like have retracted your offer due to something that you may have seen online. Um, either you are adopting this God of Wands or this God of Wands is the person in question of what it was that you saw online. You, it, it was something that you saw or some truth that you received that made it to where as though you no longer, you wanted to retract your offer like i said this came out at first in the reverse excuse me. <coughs> mm, excuse me um goodness mm. All right. okay Mm. 
So we have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck, which relates to a child's mother or someone who's married. So I'm feeling like that you, um, okay, this is what I'm picking up. Virgo, you walked away from a situation because I feel like you were trying to make an offer to someone, an empress, a wife or child's mother saw this and is concerning this goddess of pentacles. Because I don't feel like those energies are the same. And yeah. Why is the daughter of pentacles? Why is the eight of cups and the daughter of pentacles here? Why the eight of cups and the daughter of pentacles here? Because someone is stuck on. Mmm. Again, some secrets. Did I say that? Someone is stuck. They don't know how to move forward because of some secrets or something that they found out. Why is the Son of Swords and Goddess of Pentacles here? Why is the Son of Swords and Goddess of Pentacles here? Son of Swords and Goddess of Pentacles, please. Let's see. Okay, we have two of wands. So after you made this discovery or you saw what you saw, or found out whatever this truth is that you saw, you became guarded. You felt like you became guarded. Um, and you decided to change. Well, this Queen of Pentacles decided to change a course of direction. And we have here the Five of Pentacles. Now, in this deck, um, she's on the other side of the gate, feeling locked out from the abundance, feeling locked out from the love. Because this is a love reading. Feeling locked out from the love. But this this is what I find interesting. The only cup that we have here is this eight of cups. So you did have um some sort of long-term love for this person. Um Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the death card. So right now, you're okay, you walked away, but you're still, you're, like I say, you're in pause. You're not making any moves. You're not moving towards something, something or someone else. You just feel like that this situation was no longer serving you. And again, we have clarifying as a death card. So that means that that was the end of the situation, that something needed to change or transform. But you, you know, you're staying suspended. You're staying, um... You're taking a pause. Why is this daughter of pentacles and a high priestess here? So it is a secret or something you feel about. You feel like something is off about this offer. That's too many cards. Why is the daughter of pentacles and a high priestess here, please? Daughter of pentacles, high priestess. Mmm. So you feel like this person has sneaky behavior, that they're trying to get away with something. Um, even though this person came off like they wanted a new beginning, um, you feel like that it was more so in passion, um, that, the, that there was not really any type of love or foundation with this. Interesting. Why is the Son of Swords and the Two of Swords here? So you must be dealing with air sign Virgo because we have a lot of swords. We do have a couple swords here. So we're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Wands. So you feel okay, so there's a message again. Mm. So there's a message that you found out about exactly. Because remember this Empress was down here. Um It's a message that you found out concerning a union or some some information about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the lovers is the Gemini, the twins. Um, 
Mm -hmm. We'll find out that message because I want to know. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the Three of Wands here, please? Why is it? Thank you. Yes, you face some really serious truth. And look, you've shown up again in your reading. And you have to be done with an air sign. There's a lot of swords here. Um, and you showed up. You're in hermit mode. Again, taking solitude, introspection. Um, and um, I feel like you're showing up here as the Queen of Cups. Um, hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Thank you. No. Death to a lover situation. So, this is someone you've considered a soulmate um, that you had a very strong bond and tie with. Mmm. Was the seven swords to you? Thank you. See, someone wasn't ready to commit. Someone didn't want a commitment. Someone didn't want a a faithful commitment. You, it's like you guys weren't on the same page. Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here, please? Look, she came back out. Queen of, Queen of Cups. She came back out. So this Queen of Cups is at a crossroads because of some things that, some truths and things that she's seen online or that she, you know, came, stumbled across because this, um, this Son of Swords is like a page of swords. So that's, you know, you, you, you're doing some research. You're trying to find out some information. Why is the Ace of Swords and the Hermit here? Ace of Swords in the Hermit. Ace of Swords. Thank you. Look. By the Ace of Swords. So, yes. This is just some straight to the point factual truth that was put in your face. Um, whatever this is. Um, yeah. The Hermit. Let's see. Mm. Concerning a king of pentacles. And so this is a match. You guys are a match. Nine of cups. And you feel like this person is your wish fulfillment. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ooh, this is deep. <laughs> this is deep. You look at this person as your wish fulfillment, but there's something that's holding you back. There's something that you've seen. Or something that you, um, that you don't like and you feel like this person is not ready for a commitment. You feel like this person still has, um, behaviors like they are trying to get away with things and like they're not being completely honest about things. Um, so again, this Queen of Cups feels like she was left out in the cold and the... Uh, And then you had a king of cups right here. So she's stuck in her head at the fact that she now is single because of fears of collaborating. But, um, yeah, somebody is going through some type of anxiety or depression over this situation. Oh, My Virgos. All right, so let's get um, let's get a verbal message. What verbal message do you have for my Virgos? So how I'm looking at it, um, Virgos, is that you feel like you can't trust someone. You feel like someone is not ready for a high level of commitment. Um, 
again here for the uh wisdom of the oracle they're saying that this situation is not for you now we all know we have free will and you know no one can tell us what to do or how to do it but if you're here and you're seeking some answers this is what you know divine is telling you it's not for you i'm not saying that y'all can't be friends but maybe a relationship is not a union is maybe not what is in the cards for you guys okay so rebel say you are talented and fucking amazing the world needs your power use your voice don't just use it for dumb shit secondly some good shit is about to happen don't let your issues fuck it up winning you got a good thing going don't ruin that shit okay okay we ain't gonna be out here ruining our little lives let's see what love oracle message we have and then we're gonna close it out Amen. Okay, that's three. Thank you. So, mate, so you can you really look at this person like you feel like you have a soul contract with this person or a soul connection with this person? Um, let's see here. So, we have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. We have palm trees, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. And then we have girl with the snake, empath, and narcissistic paradigm, being charmed or used, and able boundaries. So I feel like that there's a need for you to create some boundaries within this situation. Okay, we're going to get a spirit message, and then we're going to find out your blessing for August and we are done. We're spending this year for forever. Okay. Oh, memories at the bottom. Soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is the true essence is your true essence and have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it interesting 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 all right again we're going to do see what blessing you have coming for the month of august and love all right let me see what this um what sense do you have August for my Virgos and love? What sense do you have spirit for my Virgos and August and love? What sense do you have for my Virgos for August 2020 and love? of forgiveness and a blessing from your ancestors so this is your blessing that you can anticipate for the month of august a blessing of forgiveness either you're going to be seeking forgiveness or someone is going to be seeking your forgiveness okay virgos thank you so much for stopping by i hope these messages resonated and they were clear and concise for you um Again, sometimes we have to let things go that we love. It may not be a permanent thing. It's just, again, like I say right now, that's not what's on the table. But it's saying clearly not for you. It did not give like it was a divine timing issue. So, um, I'm sorry about that. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful August 2020. And I hope you do find love and peace within so thank you again for stopping by the channel. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, all the information is in the description box below. Namaste. Peace.